video. Good morning. It is going on noon. It is Wednesday, August the 7th. And um, I have wanted to do this exploration from some time. So I'm going to deviate from my railroad videos and do this Henry Ford Railroad where it crosses the Silver River. I want to see where the old grade, back when Hebbard had it, where the old wood bridge was. I want to find out where that went on the other side of the river because the abutment part with the uh, concrete abutments are way too high for it to have combined so I should probably show you this would be that's headed north that is headed towards uh, Skaney Road and that's where you would come in to go to the Silver River Falls and you would have turned before you got this far down the road and you would have followed it right up here. This is the trail to the abutment, the grate. It's getting fairly grown up. A lot of beer cans in here. And uh, we'll start our walk. It's not too cold. No bugs so far. Hmm. Wonder what that board is from. If there was an old fence here or something. I'm using my GoPro. Oh, here's a lot of boards. Somebody probably just dumped their garbage. Nail sticking up. Oh, well, let's just head out and not worry about garbage today. So, I am... I was going to bring my metal detector, but I didn't know... I think it was going to be pretty thick on the other side, and I just didn't want... I got the pointer, so that should be fairly good. This is sandy, so I'm suspecting it might have been a little bit higher back then. So there's the grade there. It's getting quite high. First time I came down here, which was quite a few years ago, I climbed that not knowing what it was and not being... Uh-oh, let's see what we got going on here now. Is that to stop people from going across the river? Or is that... Wow, this is low. Or is that... That's what I'm thinking that is. Or is that some kind of a fish thing? Wow, this is kind of neat. This is a very deep swimming hole here. I did want to bring my... This is so cool. This is so cool here. I'm always in awe of it. The abutment is right where the rapids are there, the rocks. And here is part of the um, bridge, the old wood bridge. Look at those big timbers yet. I'm trying to decide where I'm going to cross. Wow, you can really see good in there. I uh, might come back with my cage for my GoPro so I could take Put it under water. Let's go up here. I only went across there once before and it's so long ago I wasn't really sure what I was looking for. Look at this nice timber. Usually this is underwater. The old bridge. I will post photos of it, of course. Well, I'm just going to try to start walking across this and hope I don't slip. This is that slippery slate. Ugh, I hate it. <laughs> Got a walking stick. 
doesn't matter how deep it is. I'm going to get wet, so. So we are crossing the Silver River. Little chilly. Oh, I just saw something in the water. There's where the bridge probably went across, right there. So I'll get over there once I cross it here. Trying to pick my way here. Trying to look around, see if there's anything interesting in the water. I wouldn't want to do it when it was rushing fast. Now, I told the story of the engine that was what came off the bridge, or the crossing, the trestle. It was either here. That is just so beautiful there. But I believe it was probably up that way by the um, falls. As was told, was told to me by local historian Ed Rock and somebody else. So we're getting there. Jim has thrown a line in there a couple times and there's so much stuff in there, just got caught, caught up on stuff. I'm supposed to be getting storms tomorrow, so I thought I'd better come today. It's getting a little bit deep right here. I'm doing what I love to do most, go off by myself so I can determine where I go, when I go, the speed I go. So we're getting to the cribbing. Okay, we made it. There's all kinds of tracks here. <laughs> Okay, here's the cribbing for the old bridge. Put it right there. Went into the ground there, so that's, of course, where we're going to go. There's another one right there. I find if I use an old broom handle for a walking stick, it works perfectly. That is why this might look a little weird. Hmm. Not sure how far I'm gonna go on this. Looks like it might be a little bit rotten. I love how that works. Yeah. So the train would have crossed right from there over to here. I think I'm going to go back and go around because I'm afraid that wood is so rotten that I'm coming up to, I might go through it. So let's just head back this way. You never know what we're going to find here, anyhow. See a fair amount of tracks here. Should have brought my gun and I didn't. So that looks like 
another abutment. Another. It does. Let's see what we got here. You might find out there were two abutments, not just the one by down there. Let's see. Oh. Here we go. So I'm guessing this is so people don't try to come across. That's pretty deep there. I don't think you'd want to really. So well, here's where I didn't come across, right? Here. Whoops. It's a toad or something. So here's the cribbing and <laughs> This has to be it. There had to have been two abutments. Two grades. And they had to have combined. I'm going to go up this way because I remember a, di uh, a deep hole I saw. I'm going to see. Is that it? Nope, not there. Go up here. There's a hole there. Or a low area. I'm gonna climb up here now. Huh, this is kind of on the steep side. Huh. So So I came down about 25 30 yards. It was so thick I just didn't want to try to do video as well but I am 100% sure I am on a grade and it continues that way and it's very thick we are walking away from the river so I did ascertain that the river is over there and it wraps around in front of me and heads over to the falls so we're going away from the river towards one of there were many many uh, trails in here grades tracks they would um they had strapping at one point and they would log an area and then move the tracks and when the engines were small enough they would actually pick the, the engines up and carry them over to the tracks that they had just laid but that being said um we are definitely on a grade I have many maps at home, so I'm going to, given to me by Jay Lohman from when his father, grandfather was logging here, I'm going to try to find out, find this one on it, and um, trying to close up my case here so I don't lose anything. I'm going to, excuse me, it's so bumpy, there we go. I'm going to show you this tree here. The footing is treacherous in here, so I'm really watching. I told Jim where I was, but he's gone for the day, so if something happened to me, it'd be a long time before he found me. Anyhow, there's an old tree trunk, and all these little saplings have grown up around it. So, there's really no point in following this grade, because I could go forever and just have to turn around and come back. But it is a grade, and there is one across the way also. So, I did ascertain that. So one could be going, going one way and the other. Don't know if you could tell it from here. 
but there definitely is a grade there. Um, oh gosh, how did I get here? Pretty high up, I'd say, huh? Uh, I don't know. 25 feet. The further we go, the higher it gets. Let's see, how am I going through here? To the right of me, it's a little bit not as high, and to the left, it's very high. Good thing I wore my sweatshirt, because I'm catching it on everything. So I'm going to turn this off again because I can't, I can't deal with taking a movie and trying to find my way through here. I'll be right back. Instead of going out the grade, I'm going to go down this animal trail here. Probably goes right to the river. It might be a little easier walking than all that mess. Whew. This is quite a trail. Maybe this is from hunters and fishermen, but... Hmm. Let's see where we come up. Coming up to the river. over this way and get to the other abutment if I can. Hmm. <laughs> oh joy. Wait a minute. No. No, it's just wood. I thought I saw a spike. All right. Look at them all, huh? Are those huckleberries or something like that? I forget what they're called. Lots of them around here. Oh boy. There's a lot of slate in here. <laughs> I came the hard way. Then I, I don't know if there is an easy way. <laughs> I'm going to turn this off again a little bit. Okay, so I just came through there. 
some muddy, really mucky parts. Glad it's not wet right now. A lot of rocks, a lot of branches. And I think I'm to the grade, if you see here now. Oh boy. This is it. <laughs> I'm going to walk over this way and then I'm going to come back and use my pointer a little bit. Now, wait a minute, the grade's over here. It's higher. Oh, darn. <laughs> That did have the look of another one, though. <sighs> okay. Up we go. the end of it. Now we are going south to the Abutment Falls area. This would be easier in the fall when you can see better. There's not that many leaves out, really. <laughs> Have to get over this thing here. It's just high enough to make it a little bit difficult. To go over. I don't know where else I could go though. I'm gonna try. No, I'm not. I, I have a really bad hip right now. So I'm being careful how high I lift my leg. When you get to be 76, you be a little bit more careful than you were when you were younger. Especially if you're alone. Just try to push through here. <laughs> Easier said than done. All right, we did it. Whew. Excuse the heavy breathing a much wider grade than the other one. That's quite a ways down there. I don't know if you could tell, but we are up high. Okay. Ooh, we got a bunch of trees down up here. We're just about to our destination. I'm gonna try to get over these. You can hear the waterfall, I'm sure. 
for the water rushing through the abutments, concrete abutments. Actually, that's, that's uh, abutment falls straight through there. We'll go down there after we go to the concrete bottles. So, like I said, this is the Henry Ford Motor Company Railroad. It used to be called, but now it's... Henry Ford? Let's see. All right. Tell you what, I don't see no way there could be an engine in there. I don't see any way at all. Okay, big hole in between the I'll have to go around this way. <laughs> Looks like I'm not going to get down there, is it? Does it? I used to be able to see pretty good. I don't know if you could see this or not. Let's see if we can get over here a little and roadblocks everywhere. I used to go down there and looks like a lot of that washed out. Water's really low. Well, let's get over here, I guess. Plus, so we found the grade, an old grade, very old grade. Yeah. So we ascertained there's no way there could be an engine in there. No way at all. Is this gorgeous or what? There's the button falls. I've walked her around the river. I have video of it. I walked around it. Came to the other side and got the abutment falls. All right, let's go down here a little bit. I'm gonna find a spot to sit and I'm gonna sit a spell. Nope, there is no. 
about time to leave. I could see a piece of rail sticking up over there. I don't know if you can tell it from the edge. The trouble with GoPro, you don't get a lot of depth. But it sure makes it easy to... <laughs> Carry. Boy, that's the view, eh? But no, I don't think an engine fell in there. If it did, it was parted out. I see. I see what looks like some metal over there. I'm not sure if that's metal or is that rock. There's a lot of like ledges there. I really hate to leave this spot because I don't make it here very often, every 10 years. It sure is pretty. There's a big bird up there. Vulture, I think. Well, so let's see how are we getting out of here. Sure would have liked to have gone over to the abutment there, but oh well, let's head up this way and see how close we can get. Fun day. Go home and cut grass. Doesn't get any better. <laughs> well, this is pretty good, eh? Gives you an idea, and the railroad took off on the other side. I think this is solid slate here, no granite. Well, so let's see. <laughs> we won't go through there. Come around this way. Whoops. <laughs> I knew I was going to fall eventually. Too many little pokey things sticking up got in my branch, my pants. And that's what happens. So, oh, the wind's coming up nice. Oh, I feel really good. Found the new rail grade from the four days and ascertained pretty much, I would say, the engine did not fall in the river here. But we can never say no for sure because we don't know what has happened in the past. Somebody take it out, part it out. A lot of times back then they would just let them lay. Not a lot of times, but a few times they have. Some of the old timers tell tales here. So you can only go by what you're told and hope to investigate a little. But boy, this is really wide here. I'm surprised this is so wide. I wonder why these GoPros heat up so bad. Might just go ahead and turn this off in case I have some more stuff to take later. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back though. Okay, I just got down to the bottom of the abutment. And... <clears throat> I used my pointer a little bit, but... It's too hard. So, there's here's right where the engines would have crossed. You can't even see over there because it's so <coughs> full of foliage. 
I didn't bring any water with me. Oh. It's in my car and I'm about like five minutes from my car if I could just walk straight there. But when you got to go in and around across the river, it takes a little bit longer. I'm following the river's edge this time. Lots of sand up here, so it's easy to follow this. Let's go down here and see what we got. bit of a marshy area here. Ooh, I hate these. You don't know if you're gonna sink in or not. I'm just gonna go out and take my chances here. Ugh. Sinking. Here we go. Here's a whoops. Stepped into a hole before I got to high ground. So we have to go up here. So this is the easiest way there. I think. Let me see here. Oh heavens, I'm murdered. Um You don't want to get your foot stuck between a couple of rocks here and then be I'm going to have to close this down. i got to be able to see what I'm doing. Be right back. Well, this is really interesting. Could this have been the beaver house? Um, there's a lot of chew and... Um, right there is a big pile of stuff I had to go through. Chew and stuff to build their house. God, there's a lot of animal tracks here. I gotta get out of here. Anyhow, could this have been their dam, their house, and that's the underneath part? First I thought it was man-made, but it's got two, two, two or three trees down here. And all this... See, the beaver looks like he's working on it now, maybe even. That's kind of neat, eh? I think that's what that is. He's building. This is going to be his home. Maybe that's what I keep seeing in the in the water here. No, I don't think the beaver did that. Here's the old cribbing for the old, old bridge. See a piece of... I'd like to get on there in my kayak. That would be fun. That would be fun. All right, let's... Get out of here, there's so many animal tracks in here. There's the grade. I'm gonna I'm gonna get my uh, pointer out and try it. Be right back. <coughs> Alright, now to find our way back. 
I think we found the frame of a beaver house. <laughs> Each piece of slate is slippery so I just run my foot along it till I come to something a little solid like a little section of sand that's got a little bit better footing and I step and I do the same thing with the other foot what an awesome day this has been Thank you for going on this journey with me. It was fun. It's part of the cribbing. Just beautiful. Right there, look at right there. Big old thing. Let me see what that is. Bike. Slate. It's a big old piece of slate. What is this? This is just slate. Well, okay. Well, I think that's about it. The camera seems to want to get hot. Maybe I've been using it too much. And I uh, think I'm going to forego the next falls and do that another trip. Because that'll take a while. So all in all, I am satisfied. Thank you so much for going with me. And I will see you trackside.